one thing that can be entertaining at this point of every season is how unexpected rivalries great begin to develop. Yeah, teams that might not be traditional rivals have a few heated games early on, and now their matchups become must-see TV. It happens every season. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. The core of this team all out there, Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green at the four. Looney out there with Wiggins. Holiday finds MP. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. First team. With their fourth title, the combination of Steph, Clay, and Draymond Green, the single most successful trio in the last half century in the NBA. And, and some would argue the best trio of all time. The, the most wins in the finals ever by a trio who've each made an all-NBA team. And both free throws good for MP. And it's the Warriors' ball. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. Yeah, and a bit of a revenge game for them as they were swept in the two-game season series from last year. And you know they might not be in the same conference, but with any top team, they want to show they can compete with the best teams out of conference, too. And onto Takumbo on the follow. You know, gifted with what seems to be a limitless reach, the Greek freak can get to offensive rebounds that most others only think about getting to. Here's Curry. On his on Takumbo, making his last shot. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And he overshot that one, missing. Well, I cannot believe he didn't capitalize there, and neither can he. And a wide open look for MP. A three pointer, no good. On offense, here are the Warriors. Four point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. Yeah, and, and the second chance points, guys, mean a lot over the course of a game. And they just had so few opportunities. And I think that was their Achilles heel. Yeah, I agree. Hard to win games when every offensive possession is one shot, then a jog back the other way to play defense. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Hits it from three-point range. Wiggins. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter that I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Holiday finds MP. Andre Kumbo with the ball. MP passes to Giannis. Trying to get open is Lopez. Yeah. And up at the Kumbo gets it to go. Oh. the Kumbo's got his second basket of the night. Thompson outside. A three ball. And another three Clay for Golden State. I really believe we can go ahead now and lock Clay Thompson in on the short list of the greatest pull-up shooters in the NBA. And we might be talking the all-time list here. MP, he dishes it to onto the Kumbo. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Giannis has got six. And now another look at that great drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Now here's Thompson. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Boston. Here's Curry out to Thompson. Curry against Holiday. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First that one is on Holiday. First team foul. How about mixing it up inside there? Steph is still a threat. That nimbleness he has helps him to get that shot. Free throw good by Curry. And one of the many special things about Steph Curry, his loyalty. Sticking with this Warriors franchise since being drafted back in 09. And so he hits both. And talking about Steph, he is the face of the franchise. And his loyalty is shown. Steph's been a model citizen, never complains, never causes any issues, willing to work with young teammates. He is the ideal superstar to build around. On 
Antetokounmpo with the bucket. You know, I think you're cooked the moment Antetokounmpo just gets the ball inside. I mean, he's got touch to go with his length and strength. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's really taking it to him inside. They got to find a way to slow him down. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Curry passes to Thompson. Let's the three fly. Trains the three pointer. Thompson. Thompson's got his second basket. No doubt this is Thompson's most lethal weapon. One of the greatest three point shooters in the history of this game. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. And now in his 14th NBA season, just one all-star appearance for Drew Holiday, but that belies his greatness as a player. Now here's Wiggins. Last game he had 28 points. From deep three-point range, rebound by Brooke Lopez. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Coming into this, having notched to win against the Rockets in their last game. You know, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. They trusted in their system and executed well to get the win. You know, Greg, you can make the case Drew Holiday is the prototypical two-way guard. You know, and defense can sometimes go overlooked just one all-star game but Drew's impact perhaps greater than some other players with multiple all-star seasons now here's MP playing Houston he was nearly unstoppable and that one's good out of the Kumbo Giannis has got to oh, the tenacity on the interior just battling bringing that effort and will for second chance points Wiggins with the bounce pass Inside, Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. Defense gearing up to stop Wiggins' shot that time. He feels it, hits the roller in stride. Nicely done. Good adjustment. Giannis kicks to MP. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possession. Now here's Thompson. Eight points for him. They double him with MP. Looney finds Thompson. And the Warriors get it back. Boom! He jams it straight down. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Excellent feed from Steph Curry. Giannis against Green. Hansa Takumbo dishes to MP. Trying to get open is Lopez. MP, no good. Yeah, I'll tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Back to Curry. Higgins outside. On the wing, Thompson. Down to five on the shot clock. Good on the triple. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Greg, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. Warriors trail by eight. Giannis and Lopez hold down the post for him. Holiday out there with MP. And it's Middleton in at the three. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Finishing with authority. You like to see Wiggins playing with that kind of attitude and edge. MP deciding where to go with it. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Greg, you look at a player putting up big numbers on a losing team. How do you determine if those are quality numbers, so to speak? 
you know, Kevin, it's a, a great question because somebody's going to put up points or collect rebounds or get assists. So, you know, you look at efficiency, you, you look at effort, and there's no doubt that you can have winning players on losing teams. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Well, MP in the last matchup against the Rockets delivered quite a performance. He contributed 61 points, and that scoring outburst set a new season high for him in what became a great exhibition on his part. The stat line was filled, and the whole league is talking about it. We'll see what he does for an encore tonight, Kevin. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him, might force him to adjust, or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. And it just seems like every year, Curry takes on even more responsibility for his team's success. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. And he nails the third. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. There's the pass to Middleton. Floats it up for MP. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And the shot is good. The Bucks lead as they fed down to just six points with the basket from Curry. A, a team first player. When Thompson notices one of his guys is uncovered, he is willing to get it to him. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. His team is down, but with the way he went at the rim, you know they'll keep fighting the entire game. Thompson for three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. To the middle. And there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by MP. MP's got three assists now in this one. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. Trailing by 10. Wiggins passes to Curry. There's Looney. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First heads on Brook Lopez. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Good on both. Bucks leading by eight. Here's onto Takumbo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Third personal foul. No wasted trips at foul. all. They're taking care of business at the, at the line. line. One way to protect the lead, knock yeah. down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. And he can't make the second free throw either. Missing both. He's a nightly triple-double threat. And I think Giannis is the most unguardable player in the game. And let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. And Middleton kicks to Holiday. Middleton on the wing, covered by Wiggins. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Warriors trail by five. Thompson for the triple. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Milwaukee Curry's got six assists here tonight. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Buck shooting 59% up to this point. They're working for great shots, and they're hitting them. Thompson against MP. Down low. It's stolen by Kaminga. Shot from the wing. That one no good. Now the Bucks take it the other way. They've led by as much as 10. A nice shot by MP. Always good to see Giannis get his teammates involved because he knows he can't do it alone. Higgins outside. 
Now, here's Looney. Lopez covering. High post try. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Clay Thompson. Really, where can't Thompson hit from? His stroke makes the mid range look easy. The kick out to Holiday. Back to MP. Giannis inside. Curry meets him. Count that one. On the Kumbos, got 12. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and it was maybe a step out of his range. MP with the bounce pass. Lopez passes to MP. Nailed from three point lead. And now a seven point buck lead. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Curry dishes to Thompson. Back to Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. Thompson misses. Bucks leading by seven. On the wing, MP. Back to Andagumbo. It's good again in the next yeah. one. Seven for eight shooting night so far. That's simply an outstanding play. Working the size mismatch right at the rim. Thompson outside. To halt the run. And the Warriors miss again. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the court. And there's the bucket from MP. Oh, great ball movement there. Timeout called the Warriors. And the lack of rim protection top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Portis is checked in for Lopez. Pools checked in for Golden State. Warriors trail by 12. And the foul called on MP. Number three. That is his first foul of the game. And so much great talent coming into the league, Greg, every year. That 2021 draft in particular looks very strong. Absolutely. Anytime you got just a couple potential stars, but from the looks of it, upwards of five, you know it's been a special draft. The three from MP. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number five here tonight. Higgins outside. From outside, off the mark. Bucks leading by ten. Here's MP. Good D by Thompson. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he challenged the shot, and you can see the effects on the release of that shot. I mean, it turned a simple jumper into a tough one. To the paint. Here's MP. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists tonight. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Well, of course, Giannis is the Bucks' leader, but it's still Coach Bud who calls the shots. Giannis says, as players, we have to accept Coach's plan. you got to trust. That's the only way it's going to work. And sometimes it won't. Sometimes we're going to execute the game plan. Sometimes I'm not. Not because I don't want to, but it's just not my day. Kevin, that is very, very good perspective. <laughs> Agree. Thanks, David. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. And there's Poole on the assist by Curry. Poole's got his second bucket of the game to go. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Holiday finds up to the Kumbo. A line has stuffed the alley. And the Kumbo is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. And so Curry will bring it up for the Warriors. 15-point game. Fires for three. The Warriors keep it going. A new 14-second shot clock. Here's Looney. 
And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the board has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then follows it up, Greg, with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Got a pigeon on that one. Easy money right there, fellas. Going old school on you, young fellas. Look that up. Pigeon. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Even while being fouled, Curry stays nimble and manages to get his shot off. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Bucks. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks That's taking a 19-point lead into the break. The score, your 71, the Warriors, 52. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at MP in this game, guys, he has been everywhere. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And on the floor for Steve Curry as we get into the second half. The core of this team all out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with three at the four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Looney. That free throw good from Thompson. A legendary shooter. Thompson is also a versatile defender who plays with great energy on both sides of the ball. Bounce pass, Holiday. The drive by MP. The Bucks have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. personal foul. And the first one at the line is good. At the line for the Bucks. Number three. Taking two shots. Both good from the line that time. Warriors trailed by 19. Curry kicks to Thompson. Great tee that time from Giannis. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. I like to call that stick to getting everything he possibly could out of that play. Holiday against Curry. Holiday, the pass to MP. Giannis kicks to MP. And it's headed to Kumbo, picking up the assist. Andre de Kumbo's got his fourth assist in this one. The Warriors shooting 38% from the field, a pretty weak showing for them. To the right side. Looney finds Wiggins. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Wiggins has got eight points. Milwaukee leading by 16. Pass to MP. 90 seconds now into the second half. Shoots. Feeds away. The Warriors pull it in. And stolen by MP. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Andrew Wiggins. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Passes it to Thompson. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Off target with his three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And to Kumbo. And it's Looney with the rebound. Looney's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And they're one of four here to start the second half. 
MP against Curry. MP dishes to Lopez. Misses the layup. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. And as good as Draymond Green has been on the floor, this guy will be a game time broadcaster, already a popular broadcast. Great TV studio appearances as well. And Draymond Green, the next broadcasting star. You've watched his work. Why is that? And Kevin, I think his basketball IQ is incredible. And, and we see that when he plays, but he can also vocalize it to the audience. And, and of course, Draymond is not afraid to say what he thinks. And P passes to Anadokounmpo, just four to shoot. A three from MP. They get it again. And Anadokounmpo slams it in. And Anadokounmpo is, is just fearless. I mean, hit him, knock him around. Really doesn't phase him. Doesn't matter. And this guy is determined to get the job done. And he does. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Jonathan Kaminga. He's checked in for the Warriors. And that one misses. Warriors trail by 18. Green the pass to Wiggins. Lopez with the steal. It's Middleton at the elbow. Green with the rebound. Green's got rebound number five here tonight. Wiggins kicks to Curry. That ball is nice speed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got three assists tonight. And how about when Curry gets fancy with it? His confidence is what allows him to pull off these moves. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drop that happened a moment ago. And I just love his competitiveness. He, he's showing there. He might be down, but a drive like that could spark it. Number three. Second personal foul. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Pass to Wiggins. Green against Lopez. Green passes to Thompson. Over Allen. Will not go. This is off the front eye. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Kicks it down to Middleton. Over Curry. Middleton can't get it to go. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Thompson looking for an opening. Just five to shoot. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end, and let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Shooting one. That's good from out of the Kumbo. You know, at just about 85% from the line tonight, which is really excellent, they've looked more and more comfortable as this game has gone on. And now I think they've got to be really careful with the defensive end. They're over the limit much earlier than they should be. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. How great have they been? I mean, shooting the ball from outside the arc, they have absolutely been lights out. There's another opportunity, and everything's going right for these guys. Giannis kicks to MP. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. Yeah. You know, he's got to take care of the ball much better than he has so By himself, he's accounted for four turnovers. That's way too many. Warriors trailed by 19. Curry with it. Now guarded by Middleton. Thompson for the triple. Outside for Curry. Buries it from three-point range. Curry's got 15 points. And the greatest shooter we have ever seen. Curry is just lethal 
from outside. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. And the Bucks with some changes. Bobby Portis comes in for Giannis Antetokounmpo, and it's Pat Connington in for Chris Middleton. The Warriors also with a sub. Pools checked in for Clay Thompson. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go, but it sure was a thing of beauty to watch. Jake Crowder's checked in for Milwaukee. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Poole with no one around. Good, and Curry gets the assist. He's got seven. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Yeah, he just flat-out tricked that one, missed it, and has no one to blame but himself. MV passes to Portis. MV up top, guarded by Poole. A three from MP. Unable to get that one. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And the basket is good. Got him to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. Milwaukee making a switch. Ingles is checked in. And the Warriors also making a change. Payton's checked in. That one a little long. Warriors trailed by 14. Here's Poole. He has seven. No good there. MP with it. There's the lob to Portis. Hammers the alley-oop through. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I think the pass was even better. I mean, that was room service delivery at its finest. And there's the pass to Kaminga. That's in, coming off an That's assist from Peyton. Kaminga. Kaminga's got nine points. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. MP kicks to Ingles, pulls it up, and it's wide right, hits off the rim. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. It's his first trip to the line. First personal foul. The first one falls. Drew Holiday is checked in for Crowder. And the Warriors are also making a change. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Kaminga. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Pass to Poole. Back to DiVincenzo. Payton kicks to Wiggins. Green up on top. Four on the shot clock. And the layup's good off the glass. Green. Green's got his first points of the night. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. And here's MP for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Green's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. MP against DiVincenzo. And the foul called on MP. That will get him his fourth foul of the game from the bonus. We'll head to the line for two. A few opportunities so far at the free throw line. He's made one, he's missed two. Uh, you know, when you look at his numbers this season, he's had a respectable number, 77%. You know, his performance at the foul line this season might be the first thing he points to as a priority to improve. And so DiVincenzo nails both of them. Boy, the upside DiVincenzo has is obvious. I mean, now it's up to him to continue working on his game and keep getting better. Here's Peyton. A shot, no good. Good work defensively by Engel. To the inside, MP can't hit from in close. And it's the Warriors' ball. 
They're on an 18 to 5 run here. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And stolen by Wiggins. And here's MP for three. The shot's good on the assist by Engel. 36 points for MP. Well, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Well, you know, that last three got DiVincenzo fired up now. He had to respond. He goes to the arc to shoot back with one of his own trip. MP passes to Portis. And Portis throws it down. The V just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Passes it to Poole. Good on the shot. Jordan Poole's got five points now in the quarter. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Bucks lead by eight. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. He's checked in for the Bucks. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. A talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward. MP is out there with Holiday, and it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, heading the middle. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Thompson for the triple. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Middleton the pass to MP. Off target from outside. Warriors trailed by five. Here's Green. Count it, and the foul. That's on Brooke Lopez. And, and no wonder Green has been called the heartbeat of his team. He just makes plays that energize the entire roster. And here's Holiday. MP left side. Giannis kicks to MP. And it's at the Kumbo, picking up the assist. Number and the Kumbo's got five assists in the game. Warriors have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Curry against Holiday. Thompson from long range. It's good from long range. Thompson's got five points in the quarter. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Stolen by Thompson. Green with the ball. Now guarded by Giannis. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist Curry. by Green. Curry's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. And you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Kumbo kicks to MP. And it's off from three-point range. Golden State's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. And it's Wiggins missing. Milwaukee's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. MP passes to Giannis. 13 feet away. And that's good for two. Giannis has got nine points now in just the second half. And you know, when this shot is available, Giannis takes it. And I like how simple he keeps things in doing so. From 18 feet away, rebound Milwaukee. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. 
MP against Green. Here's Giannis. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. There are nights that Antetokounmpo can reach a level few have in NBA history. The MVP feeling it tonight. Milwaukee making a switch. Portis has checked in. Pass to Green. Good D by Giannis. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Wiggins against MP. Six to shoot. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Curry, good. Curry. He's starting to feel it. He's in a groove here in the second half. Milwaukee in the lead. Middleton outside. Now the pass to MP. Now Giannis, guarded by Green. And that one's good out of the Kumbo. Giannis has got 31 points. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Back to Curry. From deep. And it's MP with the rebound. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge as a close game like this. You look for every edge you can find. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got assist number eight now on the night. Curry dishes to Green. In the corner, it's Wiggins. And the rejection by Giannis! He dishes it to MP. Outside Portis. He kicks it to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Back to Portis. Middleton inside the three-point line. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Such great timing. Defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Shoots. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Milwaukee. And with a limitless jump shot, the elusive ball handling skills, Curry can get a bucket pretty much whenever he wants. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're ahead by three. 151 left in the fourth. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, from the jump, he was on a mission. You could see it. It was clear. Going after hoops, no matter what the defense tried, they had a tough time stopping him. I think he could have predicted early on we'd be talking about him right here and right now. That's how good he's been. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Gary Payton has checked in for Willard. Number three. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. And that makes it a two-possession game now. Those could turn out to be vital free throws. Curry can't get it to go. The Bucks shooting at 42% in this final quarter. Holiday finds out to Kumbo. Now, here's MP. Loads it up for Giannis. And what an alley. Yeah. Those two lead each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. Thompson for three. And he's good on the three ball. Thompson's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Warriors. Holiday up top, guarded by Kirk. Here's MP. No good that time. The Warriors go the other way. And there's a reason they fouled Wiggins right there. Taking their chances at an important part of this game. 
first free throw is good, and that narrows the lead down to just three. The Warriors making a switch here. Green's checked in. Hey, by missing that free throw now, a three could even the score. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the final quarter. To the middle, there's Portis. Count it! And this guy, to me, embodies determination. Small in his position, but he still gets up and keeps plays alive. That's mind over matter for sure. Timeout called the Warriors. They're behind by five. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Baldwin is checked in for the Warriors. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. He told them they have to pick it up. He said there's no time like the present, fellas. Embrace the moment. And let's take back this game. We'll see what they can do, Kevin. Thank you, David. Timeout called the Bucks. They're in front by three. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Andre Iguodala. He's checked in for Baldwin. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, he got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. And Holiday doesn't get easily rattled. He has a calm personality that helps him in big moments. The Warriors making a switch here. Kaminga's checked in. Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by five. There's 21 seconds left in the game. What's your take, guys? Uh, trying to stay alive. They've got to work quickly. Yeah, they're going to draw up a play here, I think, to get a shot right off of the inbounds pass and not waste too much time at all. Wiggins finds Green. Here's Curry with the three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. MV outside. And there's the call on Curry. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Early into his night. But you know what? I don't know that they can come back no matter who's on the court. Right on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a seven-point game. From deep three-point range, no good. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust this group has in one another, what it matters most. Doing what had to be done and the Cindy's fans home happy. And that about wraps it up for Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Ong. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long.